Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering the question, how do you find the sprint ID for your active sprint? This is a great question because as creative as you think you may be, when your team is working on Sprint 11, and another team is working on Sprint 11, and another team is working on Sprint 11, those three Sprint 11s might all just be one sprint. But every single one of those sprints has a unique ID, and finding that unique ID is not always the easiest. In this video, I'm going to be showing you two different techniques that I use to find that sprint ID so that you make sure you're always talking about the right sprint. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Now this video is part of the Atlassian 2.0 summer series, and what that means is that I need your help with two things. One, really do smash the subscribe button as our summer goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers, and you can help us out by simply smashing that subscribe button down there. And second, we're trying to double our monthly views. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and interact as that really does help the algorithm spread this video to even more people. So I appreciate you by just simply interacting with the video, sharing it with your peers, and let's jump in to the topic. Okay, so over in Jura, I am going to go to a Jura project in order to basically show you what I'm talking about. Now, we do want to be in a Scrum style project because if you're not, then you don't have any need for finding your sprint. So obviously, you're going to want to be in a Scrum style project. Now, when you go to a Scrum style project and you go to your active sprint, you're going to see that you have the name here. And in the URL, and spoilers, this, a lot of the success of this trick for this video is in the URL. So make sure you zoom in here. But when you're looking at your URL, you'll notice that you have the number, the unique ID of your board. But we don't really care for that. We want the ID for this Swift Sprint 1. But I can click here and nothing happens. And I can go to the backlog and hover over here and nothing really happens either. And so it gets really, really tricky to find this ID. But actually, it's super easy to find if you know where to click and where to look. So I'm going to go back to my active sprint. Notice that my URL has not changed in any way, shape, or form. But the trick, the trick to get this URL to change is to click on a story that you have planned for this sprint. So when you click on it, you will notice that when the pop-up shows up, that there's a field on the right-hand side that's called sprint. If you hover over the value for sprint, depending on your browser, you may get the URL on the bottom left corner or so, but in the unlikely event that it doesn't show up, like it's not showing up for me, all you gotta do is click on that value. And when you click on that value, notice that the URL on top has changed. Instead of just showing the board ID, we now have extra pieces of code here that are gonna help us get that sprint ID. Now it's not called the sprint ID, they just call it the sprint. And you can see that the last part of this URL is gonna be your sprint ID. And in this particular case, my Swift sprint number one is sprint ID number 94. Now you can use this for a couple of things. One, you can go and do a search on your sprint ID. But probably most importantly is if you wanna do a bulk edit, let's just say that you forgot to add a bunch of stories to your sprint, you can now do a bulk edit because when you go to do a bulk edit, you actually don't type in the name. And this is for good reason because like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is possible that in your creative world, multiple people had the same genius idea of naming their sprint, Sprint 11. And Jira just won't know which Sprint 11. So when you're doing a bulk edit, you can't simply provide the name. You have to provide the ID so that Jira knows 100%, one for one, which is the unique sprint that you're intending this story to end up in. So that's where you're gonna wanna get that sprint ID. Now that was method number one. There's actually another method, a second method that I traditionally use as well and I wanna share with you. Now you do have to do a little homework to kind of get to this second tip because if you just come at this blindly, you're gonna get lost. So make sure you follow the order of operations here so you can save yourself a little bit of a headache down the road. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to know is you're gonna to wanna to know your sprint name. So that's gonna be easy, I think, because most people 
if you're in this world, if you're you're the scrum master, you're 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 gonna know your sprints. <laughs> Trust me, the you just spend so much time inside of your sprints that it should be something that's second nature to you. And if not, don't worry, practice a little bit more. But anyways, you're gonna want to know your sprint uh, name, not the ID, but the name. Okay. So once you know your name, you have it locked in there. You're gonna want to go to search and advanced search down here at the bottom. A little bit hard to see on my screen just just because of the zoom aspect, but just go to advanced search, whether going to there, or if you go to filters, you can hit advanced search over here as well. But at the end of the day, I need you to be in advanced search. You could be in JQL or you can be in basic. I like the basic view better because I love the drop downs for as much as I use Jira all day long, drop downs are still my best friend. Go ahead and click the X here because this is the most annoying create date at last year. Why is it still here? Have you not seen my videos about getting rid of this? And then after that little rant, click on more and you are going to type in or look for the word sprint. So once you do that, bring it in. This is essentially going to allow you to search on that field. And all you got to do now in that sprint field that is now added, you're going to want to click or type in the name of your sprint. And so as you can see, I found my Swift sprint. Go ahead and click that checkbox and click update. Once you do that, nothing happens. All that it's done is it's gone out to Jira and it has found every issue that has this sprint value. Now this may be a little tricky if you have a lot of sprint 11s. So you're gonna want to essentially click them all or click one by one and figure out, okay, which one's actually the stories that are important to me so that you can find or identify which one is your, your actual sprint. Now, because I have a unique sprint, the best practice if you haven't caught on by now is create unique sprint names and it will save you a ton of headaches down the road. But if you don't, if you don't have that luxury and you've created a sprint 11, make sure you go sprint by sprint and find out, okay, which one actually has my issues because under the hood, the ID is still going to be unique. And I'm going to show you that in a second. And so it may seem like you're wasting time going sprint by sprint to find the right sprint, but trust me, it's, you're going to be successful in this manner because every time that you select an item from the drop down, it's going to run a unique ID lookup on you. And so if the, if the IDs match, then you're going to return the right stories that are pertinent to you. And then you're going to be able to get your ID. So once you know the sprint, once you know which sprint you want, all you got to do is switch to JQL and look at that. It's going to tell you your sprint ID here. And so it's going to do all the conversion for you. And you don't have to go on this mystery of like, what's my sprint ID, right? It's super, super easy to get it if you go this route. So those are my two tips. Hopefully they help you out. I know that finding that sprint ID can be a tricky thing, which is why I wanted to start the summer strong with helping you find that sprint ID. And that's it for this video. If you found value, again, do not forget to smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or things aren't working out for you, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to try to help you out. And finally, please do make sure you share this video with your coworkers, your peers, your team, anybody that you think could benefit from this kind of a video. And I look forward to a very, very successful summer. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need